guys quick video today on which fragrance to wear to the gym um, like I said this is going to be quick I will not go into each fragrance individually um, and there's also not a particular order so I they are suited equally as much uh, for this kind of occasion there is not a top uh, top 9 or top 10 list in this okay in this case I will just uh, go ahead and start out with the first one I do not own a full bottle of this this is a, a miniature of the um, Aqua Di Gio from uh, Giorgio Armani I do have a big bottle of the Essenza because to my opinion Essenza is uh, the better uh, the better flanker to this one the Essenza lasts and projects uh, projects a lot better than this um, everybody knows how this smells and if you haven't you can try it out pretty much uh, everywhere very fresh, uh, salty, lemony kind of fragrance. Easy to pull off in the gym. So this is uh, one to go with. Aqua Di Gio. Then another a similar fragrance uh, to the Aqua Di Gio. But this is a bit more interesting to me. Because it has a salty note. And uh, combined with the marine and fresh uh, chords. This is um, Aqua um, Purom by... Um, by uh, Bul Bulgari, I uh, couldn't remember the name. This is very nice, lasts and projects pre pretty good, so uh, go easy on the trigger with this one. This is not as uh, as weak as the Aqua Di Gio, but very suited for uh, hot and warm occasions like the gym. So, um, another one that everybody knows and is quite popular um, from the house of Davidov. Of course, cool water. Um, this is um, yeah, lavender. Um, the freshness, the ozonic and the watery notes. It's pretty nice. Um, nice for this kind of occasion. You won't really stand out with a cool water, of course, because it's not a, a very special fragrance. Everybody owns this, but um, it's very good for this kind of occasion. Next stop. I have another classic came out in 95 from the house of Ralph Lauren um, I really enjoy this fragrance and I've almost finished my bottle um, this is uh, an original the uh, that everybody also knows Polo Sport um, it's it's spicy um, Fragrantica lists mint mint and uh, and other um, fresh notes but somehow this it also comes off a little musky um, you do have that uh, that ozonic note in there and the seagrass the mandarin lemon this is interesting um, pretty soft on sillage and projection but like I said this is perfect for the gym and it's not expensive so you can just spray easy and go loose with the trigger next off we have another came out a couple of years ago it's been hyped up like crazy um, I do not really I'm not too happy with this fragrance in terms of um, value for money because longevity and projection is weak with me but people tend to love this and um, of course also women really enjoy smelling this on a man um, this is from the house of Mont Blanc and there's a Mont Blanc legend I have the biggest bottle I, there is and I'm sad that I got it because I will never finish this I probably will probably sell this smells awesome but just doesn't last on me but perfect for the gym you can spray your clothes and you will not offend anyone just smell really nice this is very fruity you get pineapple and all sorts of pleasant fruits but nothing overpowering really nice Mont Blanc legends okay another classic I own a vintage bottle of this it's almost finished now really nice fragrance um, from the house of Paco Rabanne uh, in the time they still made innovative fragrances um, this is an original came out in the 90s Paco 
by Paco Rabanne. You can still find this some places now, but it's been reformulated and it has a black bottom now. I do not know if in, if the smell itself changed, but um, but this is uh, it's really pleasant, really fresh and um, interesting. Check it out, Paco by Paco Rabanne. Okay, so I have so a couple more left. This one, this is from the house of Hugo Boss. This is probably the most uh, comforting scent in uh, in this list. Uh, what do I mean with comforting? All the other fragrances are pretty um, pretty fresh, except for the Mont Blanc Legend, maybe. But they are all pretty fresh, and they all uh, share similar accords. The salty seawater notes or lavender and other kinds of um, fresh but not too sharp uh, notes. This one is on the comforting side. What do I mean with this? Um, it's, it's pretty warm actually, but it isn't overpowering. And that's why it is also in this list because even though it is kind of a, a warmer fragrance, uh, you can still pull this off in the gym from the house of Hugo Boss. This is Hugo XY. Um, there hasn't been uh, there hasn't been too much talk on this, but um, I do know why. Be this is it's it's pretty nice, but it's not groundbreaking. It doesn't project or last really well. You have to spray clothes to make it uh, last a couple of hours. But the smell itself from the house of Hugo Boss, I really do enjoy this. Um, you have to go uh, really close up to someone to be able to smell this but if when you do it's pretty nice so check it out XY by Hugo Boss main notes in this if you're interested main notes uh, should be um, pear and um, yeah go check it out I don't don't really know uh, by by memory Next off, um, I have another classic. I really enjoy wearing this. This is my Mr. Versatile for summer. Um, go easy on the trigger with this one because this is a projection monster. But I do think it's still really, uh, it's still pretty easy to pull off in the gym. Just go light on the trigger. Tedermes by uh, Hermes. It's an amazing fragrance. I will do a full review on this pretty soon. Uh, main notes, pepper, lemon, vetiver, beautiful fragrance, um, but easy on the trigger. I cannot repeat this uh, more, just go, go with one to two sprays maximum. Another one that is um, perfectly fine for the gym, Mer et Mistral by L'Occitane. Um, this is one of their latest uh, releases. Um, not really groundbreaking smells a bit like i don't dare to say air freshener but kind of gives you that vibe um it smells nice um you get some sort of pine combined with lemon mandarin yeah interesting mary mistral it doesn't it doesn't really uh come comes off as the sea to me uh, it really m misses out on that salty note that, uh, for instance, Aqua by Bulgari has. But yeah, I can see what they mean. It is fresh and it is somehow summery. So I don't think the name really suits the fragrance very well, but very, uh, very nice. Go check it out. And then um, I still have one left. No, I have two left. This one, this is Mr. Versatile for the gym. This is, you can go like 10 to 12 sprays um, easily. This is the best fragrance for this kind of occasion. Angel, no, sorry, that was a joke. Uh, um, this one, you can smell everywhere now. I did a video on this and uh, people know already know this frustrates the hell out of me. Invictus by Paco Rabanne. Um, this is nothing like Paco or uh, any other fragrance in this list. This is overpowering. Um, this is not this is not fresh and um, inoffensive. This is loud. People tend to overspray with this one. 
you can smell it everywhere but don't do this don't go with this fragrance pick out anything else um even go with angel man no don't go don't go with angel man but um Go with any other fragrance in this list and you'll be fine. Of course, there there's still many others out there. This is just, I just picked out these out of my collection um, because there simply aren't any more that I own that are suited for the gym. I, I do love pretty uh, heavy hitters and winter, winter scents. So these are the ones I could show you. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please comment down below and thank you for watching, bye bye.